It's Tuesday, May 20th, 2014. And uh, on uh, Facebook, in a uh, group uh, uh, for uh, mostly uncensored uh, discussions between Mormons and non-Mormons, <clears throat> had a few exchanges with some uh, people who were apparently uh, gay, and they were a little bit upset with uh, the whole uh, black atheists of Atlanta situation, and uh, they were upset with uh, hearing about how uh, I had some uh, more negative encounters with uh, the whole gay culture there, which I've outlined elsewhere on my web on my uh, blog. And they, uh, basically, their main contention was that uh, my experiences were basically a one-off and easily discountable. And uh, that I'm being a, a reptile for even bringing them up, mentioning them. But I did uh, have a more kind of uh, reflective post where I said, okay, well, you know, Kind of a different multi multi dimensional topic. Um, starting out with uh, how we're everyone's made of these little tiny robots, and what happens when uh, what happens in in fiction when the robots find out that they're robots? Even you know what happens? Mm, I'm a robot. Oh my god! So. Uh, there's kind of two responses I've seen in this so-called secular community. One it comes from Sam Harris, where he says that uh, no one has uh, free will because he says an MRI can detect what your decision is before you supposedly know what it is. And then Dan Dennett's space response is to that whole experiment that it's wrong-headed and who can and so what is Dan Dennett's space response, and I and Dennett's response also is that we have more free will than your average petunia or carrot, so we have more free will than you know Dennett says we have more free will than what Harris says. I mean they have a lot of agreement, like for example people on the edge of the of the bell curve uh, with more destructive traits like sociopathy and psychopathy and schizophrenia, <sighs> um, those people's traits are fully natural. And, uh, you know, but their brains are kind of defective. They don't have a conscience. And that's just the way they are, okay? So, um, they... But still, they have a enough of a comp computational machine there to, uh, you know, they have more free will than some people give them credit. Now, it's true their brains are damaged, but anyway. So I, 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 on the free will debate between Harris and Dennett, I'm more on the Dennett side. And with the caveat that I realize that a lot of the argument between them seems to be more around semantics. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's that. So then I mentioned uh, that, uh, in my experience, um, the uh, it, it's a good activity for uh, the collection of tiny robots we call humans to join to kind of find a friend and create new collections of tiny robots, if you can. A fun and rewarding and challenging experience. Um, and then kind of the crazy thing is, uh, some people, I guess, are born where they some people are born where they don't have the natural built-in proclivity to want to reproduce. 
or they have to do strange things like go to some building and ask for sperm to get a baby. You know, you go knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, sperm bank. Let me have some sperm so I can have a baby. I don't have a boyfriend, so I need your help to get some sperm. Give me some sperm in the sperm bank. Knock, knock, knock. They're knocking on the door of the sperm bank. Those lesbians. So there's some people who, I don't know, <clears throat> could be a combination of reasons. One thing is, uh, <clears throat> humans are not really designed uh, to have a wide access to food. And so if you uh, eat like a normal American, you might become extra fat. And then if you become very fat, then you might end up being a lesbian because no one will want to date you. So, <clears throat> anyway, and there's other reasons to become a lesbian, I guess. I don't know, something happens in your brain that you just, you're just born as a person who wants to do art appreciation but not have any kids. So, anyway, and work out in the gym. Y-M-C-A, Y-M-C-A, like that. Work out in the gym. Go to gay pride parades and show off your pecs. <clears throat> Post near naked pictures of yourself on Facebook. Well, I guess we can't argue with that. That that's also maybe somewhat natural, I guess. But on the other hand, there might be some more malleability. Maybe the North people are right. But it's true that there's North is comprised of a bunch of uh, mostly evangelical Christian types. So it's hard to have a fully secular group when you're most of your leaders are evangelical Christian people, I guess. But on the other hand, we have the Black Atheist of Atlanta, who says that uh, all the Europeans embrace gayness because Zeus was gay, and then there was some other gay god, and the Africans never had gay gods. And I'm not so sure it's that simple, because I'm pretty sure that most of the gay people I knew of when I was hanging around with my nephew, they probably never heard of all the supposedly gay gods of Europe and the non-gay gods of Africa. So I'm not sure if that's really a basis for an argument, you know. That's like arguing that the entire basis for being gay is that you heard of a gay god and then you decided all oh, could become gay. Now, although you can have a cultural history where in the past oh yeah, we had gay stuff in the past and then the idea of gayness being present could continue in a culture and kind of morph over time. So that's true. They have a point about that, I guess. Um, but anyway, it's interesting from, a, uh, from that perspective that uh, uh, lesbians have to go knock on the door of the sperm bank just to have a baby. So... As I'm listening, and I realize that here in Utah, people are having a war about gay marriage. And so, in the midst of a war, it's hard to have a nuanced position. People will call you a reptile, and hmm, they'll think, oh, you're just an ultra-righty if you question whatsoever the, the ultra-left position. That's what happens in a war, I guess. They figure, you're either with us or you're against us. Well, maybe I'm both with you and against you. How about that? So, um, so anyway, why so much gay stuff? Because it's, it's in our face all the time. Gay, 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 everything gay. The Atheists of Utah group is gay, gay, gay centered. Gay, 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 everything gay. L LGBT rights. Equal rights, LGBT. Equal. Have the equal sign on your car. Equal, equal, equal. Everything equal. Well, everything isn't equal. If everything was equal, you could put your dick in an asshole and create a baby. If everything was equal, you could have two vaginas go together and create a baby. But you can't right now. Now, there are some animals that can have natural built-in parthenogenesis. I've seen them on TV or YouTube, whatever. But uh, I've seen documentaries about them. Hmm, maybe in the future humans will evolve to such a point where there's just so many gay people that two lesbians will hump each other and create a baby. 
just like happens in other animals. I guess. Parthenogenesis. Hmm. I'm sure those lesbians are dreaming because they get tired of having to knock on the door of the sperm bank just to get a baby. So, anyway, at this point right now, you have to realize that the objections to the gay, whole gay marriage thing, those objections are also natural, okay? Maybe you're being gay is natural, but the objections to you trying to suck away kids into your culture might be natural too, okay? And when I say suck away, I mean, oh, does that, that's a bit harsh, suck away. Well, when I examine what happened to my nephew, yeah, I think suck away is an accurate description. Now, we... Like I say, I like Stephen Fry, and I like Oscar Wilde, and I like the, the gay guy who helps us go on vacation, who helps have a service-oriented life. But on the other hand, there's also the pedophiles who are welcomed back into the gay community after they get out of prison. Not so good. And there's the petty narcissists I met, kind of Truman Capote types. Not so good. So maybe there's room for family values gayness. How about we create a group called straight people who support gay people who support straight people or the straight gay alliance for the support of straight marriage and straight family life how about that can we create a group on that a group on facebook on that or general advocacy group you tell me okay talk later